we're talking about pitchers. That's why Al Leiderskin is working right now. Pitchers fielding practice, PFPs. You see the video all the time coming from spring training. What are you guys working on outside of the fact you get your mind on golf after workouts? There was with the golf stuff. But <laughs> PFP, I'll tell you, during spring training, big league players, all professional players, hundreds of times they will field first base, field cover first base. It is important to be a fielder after you throw the baseball. Once the ball is thrown and there's a ground ball to the right side, you are taught to bust it to the line. What I mean by that is your best sprint about 10 feet down from the bag on the line. You want to be parallel with the line so you turn up the line and be able to get a good throw from the first baseman. The reason why you want to get here is that when you get the ball early, there's a potential opportunity to tag the runner if you don't get to, to first base before he, he does and you don't want to collide into the runner. So as I get to the line, I want the ball as early as I can from Sean Casey, preferably chest high, run through the bag with your right foot staying inside the bag, again, potentially staying away from a runner who's aggressively running down the line. Sean, what's your role in this play? A couple things here. For me as a first baseman, when I field the baseball, I want to get it out of my glove and show it to the pitcher as, as quick as I can. Now I need to make up ground towards first base. So I start making my move to first base to get over there. And as I get the ball out, when I throw it to the pitcher, I want to make sure I have a stiff wrist. You don't want your wrist being too flawed because that's how you sail the baseball. You want to have a stiff wrist. It's almost like a shovel pass over, hit him right in the chest, and we can get him out. All right, since we started talking about this, we're in Studio 42, and we've got all our fancy duds on. Hey, guys, why don't we work this out? Why don't I hit a ground ball here to Sean Casey? Be careful. Be careful, because Harold complains that I hit the fungos a little bit too firm. He does. So he I does. know you can handle it. I can handle it. So I can handle throws a good strike. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's going to come up the line and run aggressively through the bag. Again, from the chest up, preferably in the chest area, but anywhere in this area is good. And get the ball to the pitcher as quickly as possible. All right, that was nice. That's the ground ball to the right side. Can I get the ball? Sure. Let's do a bunt play. Run on first base, bunt play. What's the responsibilities of you two over there? Well, I'll tell you, this is, a, again, another play that, it, that is often uh, practiced in spring training. And these are important for pitchers to be able to field. Absolutely. On a bunt play with runner at first base, the pitcher's responsibility is, ho is to straight in at home and the first baseline. First baseman is also crashing. It's to get in out. When the ball is thrown, once again, you aggressively as a pitcher run, to the, run to, the, to the ball. You want to be in position to be low enough, stay close to where you can open up your front side. You're closed. In this case with Harold, I'll do a nice shovel pass underneath. Or in a normal circumstance when you're fielding it and the distance a little further, a nice low strike, chest high in the inside part of first base. Harold, yeah, exactly, and that's it. The chest high and the inside half. And what I'm doing as a second baseman, I'm already cheating because I know it's going to be a butt play. So when I get over here, I want to get to the bag and get on it. I don't want to stand by here and wonder because then the action starts happening and you may lose where you're stepping. Find the base, get on it, get on the inside half. Now I can react to a flip or a bad throw or anything like that. Always anticipate a bad throw. If you get a good throw, that's even better. But set yourself up on the inside half and not be in a position where somebody may run into you on a ball inside. You guys always work up this much lather <laughs> during spring training working on PFPs. Man, this is some more good ladder stuff. nowadays. That's, that's it for us in this demo in Studio 42.